Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be talking about former Bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz wanting a shot at current Bantamweight champion TJ Dillashaw. So um, there's there's history between these two fighters. Cruz is 1-0 against Dillashaw. He actually came out of a long injury, long absence to beat Dillashaw to win the belt. And then he lost it to Garbrandt, who then uh, lost to Dillashaw twice. And Dillashaw beat him in even more dominant fashion the second time around. But the thing is that Cruz has not fought in like over a year. He has not fought since Ronda Rousey last fought. And he, he lost that fight. He lost it to Garbrandt. He lost the belt. So it's not like he's somebody that just this time around that he lost the belt due to injury. He lost the belt in the actual fight. He lost. So what case does he have to make for a title shot? Yes, they both are arguably the two best bandweights of all time. And yes, he is 1-0 against Dillashaw. But you can't just get a shot over your like legacy or your past performance. You got to, what have you done for me lately? That's always the case. Unless maybe you're like Brock Lesnar or like um maybe a, a Nick Diaz or Ronda Rousey, some big money person like that. This fight, by no means, it will be a big money fight. It will certainly be a good fight for the fans, but it's not a fight that's going to get them to, to jump the line coming off a loss. Marlon Marais is a respectable number one contender, and I think he'll get the next shot. And I think Cruz will have to work for it. I think the next best person available is Rafael Asuncao, another person who deserves a shot. One and one with Cruz, I mean, one and one with Dillashaw. Both fights were re like um, relatively close. I think the second fight was less close. I think Dillashaw was able to outpoint him a, a good margin. Whereas in the first fight, it kind of came down to it was like a lean and like who do you think? What do you think was more important in the fight? So it was a real close fight the first time, but second fight close still, but not as close. But they are one and one. And Asuncio hasn't been has been active, winning a lot of fights and winning in impressive fashion, getting finishes, getting dominant decision victories, beating good names. Whereas, like I said, Cruz has in fought in over a year and it's coming off a loss, regardless of if it was a title shot or not, it was a title fight or not. So I think Cruz's best opportunity is he needs to get a win and he needs a good win. And if he wants to jump the line, he has to beat the next man in line. And that next man is a Sun Sal. He could beat a Sun Sal by any means, whether it be close, split decision, finish, victory, phenomenal, like finish, some flashy finish or what whatnot. But yeah, if he could get past the Sun Sal, then He's deserving of a title shot. If a Sun Sal could beat Cruz, then he's deserving of a title shot. But if Cruz doesn't take the Sun Sal matchup or really tries to just jump the line, then there's plenty of fighters I think who are more deserving of title shots than Cruz. But if Cruz, like I said, could get a big win over a Sun Sal or somebody around a Sun Sal's like ranking and who has been putting in work, then he deserves a shot. But off just off the, the past history and a win over like Dillashaw, then. That's like not enough to warrant a title shot, especially when there are plenty of hungry contenders keep making that mark and keep being active and keep winning fights. You can't just get off the um, couch and expect to get a big fight. So um, that concludes this video. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for more videos. Peace.